Hello YouTube, this is an upload from Twitch, a live stream of the game Sunrise at the Studio on Kickstarter right now from Pencil First Games along with Herbaceous Pocket and what is the other one, Matthew? I just said it. Sunset over the water? Sunset over water. Let's check that. <laughs> We're professionals. You, My name is you've Paula. You've made me second guess everything about myself That's now. Matthew. You can always Hello. catch us live at twitch.tv slash Paula Dimming, where we play board games. Thank you so much to Pencil First Games for sponsoring this playthrough. You're going to hear us talking with chat because we are doing this live on Twitch and you're watching it after the fact. But here we are. No, snowfall over mountains. Snowfall over mountains? What the heck was I talking about? Sunset over water. Gosh darn it. Paula. What is wrong with me? Gameboard Bound says, we made these games all hard to pronounce together. Even we can't do it properly all the time. That's very kind of you, Jessica. <laughs> okay. Actually, Matthew. Sunset of the Water is one of their games. That is just a dwarf of the games. So that's, uh, that's I knew it fun. existed. Do you want to do the rules explanation or would you like me to, Matthew? I'm happy to do it. Paula. Thank goodness. <laughs> I always rely on Matthew for the rules. I will say it has funded. I saw that's that. Fun. It funded, it kicked off yesterday, and it's already funded. I'm interested in Snowfall Over the Mountains. Looks like the perfect game to play. Actually, do you know what Pencil First Games do? And this isn't, they haven't paid me to say this. They do make games that would be good to play in a log cabin. I have heard their games described as, like, cozy. That's and that, so that it. sounds right, right? And because it's not a straight-up Steve Finn game, it doesn't make me want to scream with frustration because someone else has done the thing I wanted to do. You played Biblios? <laughs> Yeah, I played Biblios once a long time ago, but yeah. <laughs> it is up there in what I would call a masterpiece of the game, but I yeah. tell you what. I just wish everyone else would just calm down and let me do my thing. That's just right. let me Stop get the books the I dice. want. <laughs> Stop changing things. All right, welcome to the studio. It's a lovely um, morning. We've got up early. We did a sun salutation. We looked at the window and went... Everything's going terrible in life. Might as well leave my yoga poses and my worries behind and my wife that I hate and these kids that I never wanted and my stupid dog and leave the house. Walk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have I interpreted some extra? Okay, I'll do that again. It's a beautiful Please. sunrise. And you've done a few yoga poses and you've got up extra early because you're excited because you know it's a Saturday morning, which means only one thing. Time for some ceramics. So we've walked our way <laughs> through the, the forested path. We've watched the with... sunset over water, except that was last night. And because um, now it's sunrise, obviously, at the studio, which is the name of the We've walked game. the tree-lined street. We've seen the, the, the sakura of the cherry blossoms start to bud on the trees. And we've closed our own warm air into our hands and walked into the studio. We said hello to the old man that works there. Hey, Bill. He doesn't. He does. He's. His name is not Bill. I'm setting this in Japan. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so I didn't. Call, did I know we, it was in Japan? We did call you say him that? Bill. We call him Bill. That's because we didn't catch his name the first time. And I was thought too awkward to ask. So right, 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 we just right. wait. He, frankly, he doesn't like us to be there anyway. He's kind of he doesn't that. like us. And we are going to sit down at the pottery wheel once again. Thank you, Firefly. And make some ceramics. Now, yes. to make ceramics, we're going to need three things. That's, of course, going to be some type of clay. Mm hmm. Some type of glaze. Mm hmm. Not unlike donuts. And some types, in fact, just like donuts. And some type of kiln. It's exactly like making donuts. It's exactly like making donuts. Just and retheme. Pencil first, Jessica. Time for a retheme. No, it's not. Sunrise like this. at the donut shop. Sunrise at the Duncan. IP <laughs> game. <laughs> so you, so can, you can get it sold in every Duncan in the country. So I'm going to come to Paula's uh, place. Are you, what color are you? Playing? I'm blue. You're playing blue? That's not right. You don't like blue. I'm playing it because everything is oriented toward blue. Oh, Though, y'all, there is purple in this game. Let me show yeah. you. There's purple in this game. Which you so, know is what I would choose if it didn't mean camera work was going to be a little bit harder. We are going to come back to the studio three days in a row. This, this long weekend, a bunch of uh, 
So we're doing we're doing Friday, Saturday, and we got Monday off because it's some holiday that we don't care about. So we're going to just come in on Monday as well. Yeah, and Salvia Cat, that, thank you for the follow. And that means that over the course of three days, each consisting of three rounds, because it's a board game, we're going to be making the best array of pottery that we are able to in order to beat all the other potters. You're basically Voldemort. So... <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the hidden theme of the game. It's like just under the surface, right? If you just look just, just one layer down. So how are we going to do that? Well, you can see that I'm on pool. I'm actually around Paula's uh, stuff here. So I'll yep. be, uh, excuse me for fiddling with your components. I apologize. That's all right. About that's that. all right. So we are going to be, over the course of each round, we're going to be taking four cards out of our, we have eight cards. There's, uh, you we can have see four the ones in, in my hand right now. We have uh, four cards and those cards have got different um resources on them they are a variety of glazes wilds uh, clays and kilns and even some of them are like double resources which we'll see yeah. in a second right now, now i will say just so people know what they're looking at in my hand i have two types of clay currently in my hand here and here i have a, one type of kiln and then a wild thank you happy you're here for the sub so you can see that on our little turn guide and just at the bottom of our board, actually, you can see that there is okay. some symbols. That is because we are going to have to organize our resources each round of mm -hmm. each turn uh, in a different way. We can either be efficient, we can be measured, or we can be wasteful. These are our work styles for the day. And because a day is long, then we're going to have to be all of those things. Over the course of the day. Yes, it's and true. That means that we are going to be taking up our four cards, keeping a certain amount of them and passing a certain mm -hmm. amount of them. On an efficient day, we get to keep three of our cards and pass one to our opponent on our left-hand side. On a measured day, we get to keep two and pass one to the left and one to the right. And in a two-player game, that means pass two to your opponent. And in a and, and wasteful, we are going to keep one, we're going to pass one, and we're going to discard two. Now we might to want the to waste be, basket, which is here. And we might want to okay. do that for different reasons. We have to do all three of them, which gives you a decision, of course. But also, I might not want to pass anything to Paula because those are things that are going to finish off her ceramics. Yeah. And I've seen Paula in the ceramic studio week after week, and I'm angry at her progress she might have tiny hands but it means she can do intricate pots they're creepy honestly so what we're going to be doing is taking our cards and picking them our cards are going to have those resources on and we're going to be putting our resources onto the bowls and plates that we've all got these starter things so there's mm -hmm. i think there's five different types of uh, ceramics that you can make and we're going to be applying them to our uh, things that we're trying to build to craft and mm -hmm. then we're going to be finishing them off at the end of each round and getting points for them as you can see there's points in the top right hand corner and we're also going to be getting new stuff mm -hmm. now getting new stuff is also a, a different uh, decision spot as well because you can see in the top left of all of our cards we have a initiative number so that means that if me and paul are both finish something on the same turn right. yeah that is the initiative order the lowest number is going to be the person to pick first which is important so in this what, case matthew's pick? plate would be finished first because it's a two and my plate we both happen to have plates as our starting projects would be a three so matthew would choose first i will also say when you finish something you get to do this Paula. yeah which is nice oh yeah you get, to, you get to see it up close and personal mm -hmm. And it tells you what you have still at the bottom here because that might be useful for scoring at some point. Also, you can see that this is a plate. There's a mm -hmm. plate symbol, which is something important as well. So what can you pick? Well, that's simple. You can pick two Just normal, things. Man. So you can pick two new projects to work on. Maybe you want to do a jug and Just maybe you want to do this uh, cup. You can pick one project and one uh, goal card as it were, private <laughs> objective, essentially. Or, which are Thank these Thank you for here. those bits, Rook. <laughs> or you can pick three goal cards, private objectives, and keep one of them. 
The only stipulation here is that you have to have at least one project card. You have to be working on something. Yeah. Otherwise, the person who owns the studio is going to come around and say, look, you're not paying your way. Yeah. Like, what? come on. What are you doing here? You can't just sit here. People need people need that wheel. You got to be working. You got to be working. You're killing me here. But in Japanese. Yeah. Now, there's a few other things to talk about, which I'm sure we'll get to as we actually play. Mm -hmm. But note that one of the rewards you can get on some of these cards, and let's see if there's one out. In fact, there is, is this cup here is a coffee bean because you could, this is something that uh, Pencil Post normally do, which is if you have the most of something at the end of the game, there's also a few extra points to be got. So here, if you have the most coffee beans in the game, you're going to get an extra three points, which is nice. And you get a nice cup of coffee because it's the morning. It's the morning. Oh my goodness, Gamer Addis Guy says, pottery is a lengthy process. It's not just killing time. Ban that person from chat. Man. So, ban Gamer Radar Sky. Like ban. I liked it. So, a few <laughs> extra things to note is a few other ways we can get some points. Mm -hmm. um, and that is going to be um, we get points for these things. So, we've got these gold cards out at the end of the game. We're going to get points based on if we come first or second to do this. And this is fairly self explanatory. This is have things made out of each of the different clays clay, porcelain, and the other one. And, have... <laughs> and gray. I can't remember. I did look at what they were, but I can't remember. But I that's know that very that's lovely of you. I was like, lump, uh, 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 rectangle, gray. Gray. Um, <laughs> it is of course da, 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 earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. Of course. Now, of course. Of course. Which makes sense because get... this looks like stone. Yeah. We can get four points for having one of each of these, one of four of different symbols, essentially, the different things you can make. And here is uh, four or two points for having four of the same glaze. Now, that sounds tough. So four of the same glaze, and the glazes are light, dark, and luster. Chef is looking at something that's alive somewhere, and he's like... He wants to get out of my lap, and I said no, and I grabbed him. So he'll be mad in a second. Now, with our resource cards, something else, just the very last thing I'll say for now, because we'll should get into playing the game, is that yeah. if we got four resource cards. We're going to be stuck with some past, possibly at some point that we don't want. Now, mm. anything that you don't want, you can put a little... So it comes in a box in the studio. You go, oh, I've got a whole box of this that I don't need. You can put your cube here. And for every two cubes you have here, you can get a wild. And that's cool. very useful. Yes. One other thing as well is these private goals. If you don't want to activate them, when you take them, you can look at it and go, this isn't really what I want. You don't have to. You can discard that as well for, for a like a, a resource. Yeah. Um, but once you've that's revealed it. it and saying, I'm once activating yeah. this, you cannot do that with it. Um, exactly. One last thing. Did you mention, Matthew, that multiple people can claim these public objectives? Yeah. Yeah, first Great. and second spot. Cool. So that's it. Um, and in a more player game, it's first and second and third and fourth. You and you can keep, yeah. So everyone else, so the dot, dot, dot here means, like, if we were in a, let's say this was a game with me, Matthew, and Kestrel, for example. Matthew could score this one first and get the four points, but Kestrel and I could both get the two points from being next for this. Is everything all right over there, Matthew? Did your chair break? Uh, yeah, my chair's breaking. <laughs> this is a classic moment. Um... Matthew's chair often breaks. Are, are you going to come back, dude? Did you decide it was cold, not on my lap? Because, yeah, it is cold. Is it cold on my own? I'm actually just pulling up my thermostat app because it is cold. Well, uh, you are so... You, you are what I think... You're a yuppie, is what I'm saying. Well, thank you, because the word yuppie implies youth, because it stands for young, upwardly it's, mobile. Here it stands for... Someone with more money than sense. Well, I know you haven't got more money than sense, but you have an app for your thermostat. That Go sounds on. bougie to yeah. me. Um, your yeah, it's a nest. Nice, it's, yeah. I can control it from my phone. Okay. Shall we you. play this game? Nah, I'm all right. Mm. Have you ever done that at a convention where someone's gone, cool, thanks, that was a really great rules to teach. Oh, I'm good, thanks. It's like... Like, never mind. I don't want to oh, play. Get out, get out of this convention before I buy you. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, I need to get back over to my place. Yeah. 
Yeah, get back in your place. Okay, so my plate requires earthenware clay, a dark glaze, and this cool brick kiln. Now, there was a question about can your pottery explode in the kiln? Now, luckily, all of our stuff is going to come out perfectly. Perhaps that is an expansion to come out later, you know, where you have to roll dice to see if... Here's another great pitch for you, Pencil First Games. Roll dice to see if your work actually comes out uh, properly in the kiln. I think it's... Average at best. That but, um, has an idea, Paula. Um, excuse me. So what are you building? What are you building? Uh, you want this? Are y'all hearing? You just the cat purring. Is it really loud? It's he's, pretty loud. He's kneading. His butt is right by the the microphone. He's kneading in my lap for a little while before he decides to settle. Okay, so I have to decide what work style I want. Well, I like this card, and I like this card. So I think I'm gonna do the work style where I only have to pass one. I don't wanna pass Matthew that. So what? I'm being measured. I think I'm gonna be efficient. So that means I take this tile and I place it here on the efficient one that says I'm gonna keep three and pass one. Um, and then I'm going to keep these three and I'm gonna pass I guess it doesn't need to be um yeah this is simultaneous by the way this part of the game yes uh it doesn't need to be face These down it's not a secret yeah put them on my bench please they are kind of face down they are it's kind of secret though whilst we're picking essentially that's about, true in know. case we pass before the other person does and you put it and the card you pass paula did this i didn't you put onto this yeah their so we say who's the who's the most pro gamer who put the card where it goes so you uh i'm not even acknowledging that one. <laughs> Okay, now cool. we reveal all of our resources and we do something with them. Okay, so I'm going to put a cube onto my kiln. So I got that. And then I'm going to trade both of these things I don't want in for a while. Actually, here, um, let me, just for the fir at least the first turn, let's do this one at a time so that we can, so that chat can see what's going on. So... But chat's... Uh, I know. I know. I know. Um. Okay. So what what is your what are your choices here? What are you doing? Just back so it up a I bit. Was, back it up. So I was passed. So uh, yes. So I ended up with um, a kiln and this, and you passed me this porcelain. I sure and earthen, did. And uh, frustratingly, I need, I'm making stoneware, so I just didn't get what I needed. But I'm going to trade both of these in mm. for wild, for a wild. And then make that into stoneware, and I've got the electric kiln. Right. Uh, so you're just looking for the right kind of glaze yeah. before you can so finish now, that off. Yeah. Now I want a. Um, um, I need a light glaze. Okay. Well, for me, uh, I am going to this. You've sent me the glaze exactly that I needed, um, which yeah, is I didn't great. Much, yeah. I had two. Th I had everything else. I had everything that you needed. Wow. So I, I can finish I this project. You. Whatever I passed you was going to be something that you needed. So this is a wild, but I'm just saving it anyway because I'm just gonna use that stuff. Oh, resource cubes right here, right, right next to my thing. I was like, I'm gonna have to drive around to get a resource cube. Nope, right here. So that's one I'm using for, as a resource cube. This I'm putting both of those onto my bench, onto my tray, and then I'm gonna use this kiln for here i'm gonna use my earthenware clay for here wow he is going nuts on the biscuit making he's uh, loving it it's like i gotta make all these biscuits otherwise you. i lose my job that's right he knows how it works okay so then all of this i believe will go i think as we play them they come on go onto the waste basket i think Cool. Cool. So I now have made a, um, I've completed a project. Congratulations, which means you get to do the extra thing I don't. So you get to make I'm that decision. move this over here. You can pick two projects or pick one project and one private objective. You can't just take a private objective at the moment because you, you have to have it. I have to have a project. Let me look at what our things are. Now, this is a plate. I could work toward this 
four projects, each one a different category type. So what else do we have here? Pictures and I will do that. I think I will, that's gonna be hard to make, but I think I'm gonna take this picture. No, you know what? Points. Let's take something that's gonna be a little bit easier. I will take this cup first, cause these refresh. Oh, it's just they right refresh. underneath. Yeah, they refresh as you go. So I will take that and then I'm gonna take another project so that I have two to work on. I'll wait to take an advantage and I will take this picture. I guess if it's the very start of the game, you might as well try to go for something that's it's a big one. Like, let's start working on it, right? Let's start working on it. Here. Uh, and that's that. If we go on to the second round. Cool. Yeah. Second uh, second round second. of day one. So grab four cards off the top of your deck. Oh, hold on. Wait. Hand. Put them back. Put them back. Oh. I can hit a button. Hold on. Hit the button. Start new turn. Draw four resource cards. Whoop. Excellent. Ah, when things are well done on Tabletop Simulator, it is so satisfying. All right, I know what I'm doing. <gasps> Ooh, there's some good stuff in my hand, but I can't keep all of it. Oh, no. Well, I like these two things. So I can keep two and pass Matthew two. Here's one, Paula, for you. because I can't Oh, actually. man, I'm going to have to give these to Matthew. Well, I've only got one project on the go, Paula, so it's not like it can really help me massively. They're just going to be uh, wild. All right. I'm going to be measured. I'm going to give two to Matthew. So, Matthew, those are yours. Oh, thank you. Oh, Gamer Ice Guy says, I like the decision space. It's like delicious, but now you only have one of each action. I've not played delicious. Jeff Lewis says, Paula is killing it. Thank you. All right, I did wasteful because I didn't want to pass you a bunch of things, Oops. Paula. That's not nice. Oh, you passed me a wild and two resources? Yeah, I wasn't happy about it, was I? What the heck? Okay, I won't use this card then. I will use the wild for what I need. So I get to put three... Because this isn't an ore card that you pass me. It is two resources. So I get to put three resources into my... Uh, into my bin. Into my, like, thing. <sighs> That's good. Did I put two resources in there? Did I already have one in there? No. No, I did. You no, did already have one in there. Did you? I, I don't should, know. I should... I think I have... Yeah, I did. Sorry. Who knows? I don't know. Chat will tell us if uh, so now got we did this. something wrong. This card, this. So yeah, I finished my project, which is nice. You're welcome. All right. So while Matthew is cleaning that up, we will do my resources. I'm going to reset this camera. Hold on. My, my plate is finished. You did it. Well done, the clean plate club. You do have to be pretty efficient, right? Because you've only got you've only short you only have so time. many turns, right? Yeah. So I only got gave a nice me one. I don't need plate. this. I know. I looked at what you needed, Paul. And <gasps> you. You're such a skunk. No, I gaming out of you your did. mind, like using strategy. How dare you? I did. Yeah, I apologize. You're not finishing anything this turn, are you? Uh, I could because I do have two resources I could turn in for a while. So I will use my. Uh, turkey deep fryer kiln to put one there. Um, I will use this glaze here. I'm going to turn these two uh, cubes in for uh, one porcelain, which will finish this cup. But this lovely glaze I can't use, so I'm going to save that onto my resource tray. So I will be finishing a project. Uh-oh. Oops, I dropped those cards to the ground by accident. Here we go. Oh, you put, oh, there, I, my discards, I forgot I'm putting my discards over here. Okay, so I have a very low initiative on this. My initiative on this cup is 31, Matthew. Mine's two, so I'm gonna All right, you two definitely things. get two. Uh, 
Go first. I've got earthware. You want to do things that oh, kind of like match up. So I've got, so I've got an earthware plate, right? Mm -hmm. So if I can find a stone, no, I've got a stoneware plate. So oh if yeah. A, if I can find an earthware something else. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like an mm -hmm. earthware. Then that this, will work toward this. It will go for two things. And yeah. if I could find an earthware thing that had a light glaze, that would be working on three golds at mm -hmm. once. But there is there isn't an earthware that has a actually this isn't this actually this is this this is exactly this. That's stone. Stoneware. That's no that's yeah, that's luster as well. Mm. So I'm gonna go for this. Uh because okay. it's actually what do I want? I kinda wanna do this because it's fancy. It is fancy. I, I do like the way it looks. Um Gamer Eye Sky is Says, hey fam, I got banned for a bad pun. I'll need to notify my next of kiln. That's good. Chad is out of control. Uh, you know, uh, I can hit a button to fill the project row if you ever decide you don't want to move cards around. So Just saying. A thing, thing. So I will take a cup, I think. And I'll take... Three kiln puns so far. Kestrel, this is now your official job. You are counting the kiln puns. I have cat hair all over me. I felt like I wore this sweater on purpose because I thought it would be really appropriate for this particular game. Uh, I have never thought about that when doing a stream. I know you I haven't. Wore this, I wore this to the gym. And that's <laughs> what I'm going to get now. I do have two projects. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to choose to take a project and an advantage card now that I've got multiple yeah, now things got going on. So I have a plate, a cup, a pitcher... Nothing different has come out yet. So none of these will help me work toward this middle goal. So maybe I should get something that's a different like clay type. What do I already have? Earthenware, porcelain. So maybe I should take something that is stoneware. Let's do, let's do this one because it's worth more points than that one. So I'll take that as my project. And then I'm going to take a advantage card, which I've pulled into my hand here. Wait, nope, that was a project that I've just, wait, what? Hold on. What's happening? What are you trying to do? Sorry, explain, what did I just draw? Did I accidentally just draw a project card instead of an advantage card? That no. is an advantage card. That is a personal thing that you can be working on. <gasps> Oh. It won't have anything to... It won't give you anything as far as goals go. It's a showpiece. Yes. A showpiece. That's what it is. Yes. Okay, this is a showpiece. Sorry, my brain broke for a second. I apologize. So yes. The benefit of a showpiece is that it's more points per resource uh, on average for the rest of the card. Awesome. Uh, sorry for my... Um, I am going to commit to this. Why not? Um... What? I'm working on it. Thanks, everyone. I just you know, had a, a a moment of confusion. Just the one? Yeah, because I took a project. And so then I took one of these cards. I meant just the one moment of confusion. Oh, um, yeah. Amazingly enough, just one. Pretty good going, honestly. Just one. All right, so it's the next round. Okay, start new turn. Last one for day one. Acorn Squash is doing non-kiln but still pottery puns. <laughs> it's I'm okay. so you can happy turn it I made that decision. So that means I get to keep more cards. <gasps> oh my gosh, these resources I just got. Oh my goodness. I definitely want to keep that because that's that's barn. Nothing else actually is useful, but I will keep two of them and look at what Porno has <laughs> to get. She wants, she needs that. Okay, so I have to do Wasteful, so I will not be passing you anything. Oh, great. Thank you. I, but I'm only keeping one card. Wait. Okay, you no, I'm passing one, getting rid of two, keeping you, one. Yeah, you always oh, pass no. a card. That is good. A, glaze, a glazing over pun would be pretty good, Gameward Bound. All right, so I'm taking these. Oh, boo. What do you need? What's going to be the least helpful that's for Maddie kind, J. Paula. That's literally what you're doing to me. <laughs> They're scrolling over your board. 
here's the thing. The thing that would be least helpful for you might be the most helpful for me. So. Ew. Do not like. I guess I'll give you this one. Everything's helpful for you, you skunk. These I'm going to put in the wastebasket. Oh, that is useful. And this, oops. Oh my gosh, everyone, sorry. Oh, that's so good. That What you passed me is so good, thank you. Everything was good. Everything could help you. So I got it was both kills horrible. that I needed. Oops. So again, uh, y'all, when you're playing this uh, just for funsies on your own in real life, you'll be doing this part simultaneously. But because we're on stream and I want everyone to be able to see what's going on and not just my close-up vision of my board, I'm sure we're kind of doing it um, individually. But this bit will go because you'll all be doing it at the same time. I have four. I'm doing Ooh, it. I'm going to use all four. Oh, no, I need five worlds. Are you going to do two projects this turn no i need to do i need more wilds uh, but i will do i will finish off this jug might as well i will finish off this jug because it's worth nine points and it's got a lot that's of pretty good i finished my jug i won't put anything here because i want to wait what a see. fancy jug i don't know if i would call this a jug if i'm honest like it's too fancy to be a jug i think it's a carafe what are there other okay. fancy words for jug? I need I need chat to help me. I'm not sure if carafe is exactly right. Well, a carafe, I think, is a cross between a camel and a giraffe. Oh, that is true. That is true. Right? I'm not sure pitcher sounds fancy enough either, chat, but not I appreciate you. Not in a southern accent. Pitcher? A, a pitcher? A demijohn? Hey, come in, kids. I made some sun tea. <laughs> yeah, sun tea. <laughs> All I right. do like sun tea. Okay, what can we do here? Well, I'm going to take two clay to put here. An amphora. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. See, I know um, your culture, Paula. Hmm. I, understand your, I understand your culture. And then one stone. Blech. And then I can't use this because it's only a single one. I would have to turn two in for one says a ewer an open vessel with a handle and a spout for pouring now that sounds fancy this was not the most efficient turn i've ever had but that's okay can i tell you paula if i've made it it's not fancy it's i promise you in but my that only looks chat, fancy spamming a mug youtube sorry <laughs> youtube sorry youtube thanks for being here I'm All right. Hearing. Come over to Twitch and get the full experience. I think that's, that's um. Oh, are you completing projects? You yeah. need to pick. Oh yeah. All right. Do your thing, boy. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put my resources back in my thing. I do like how just adding a line to these cubes does make them way more interesting. Yeah, right? It makes <laughs> them look like boxes. a box of items as opposed yeah. to just like a beige wooden cube. It is like funny that the tiny. A tiny smart. detail like that really kind of like uh, elevates, right? Okay, it really elevates. Uh, okay, so I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to take two projects, but I'm also going to take. No, I'm going to take one project and a special card. Mm. Sorry, I'm going to go for the most expensive thing. Although it's another jug. I don't want another jug. Yeah, that one I would say jug. I want jug, plate, mug. What else do I want? Jug, <laughs> jug, plate, mug. I need dish or vase. Me too. And I don't any of those things. Yeah, they haven't come out yet. But dang it. <laughs> what an ugly mug. Stephen Malosky. I'll, I'll take this then. Oh, I love that. Gimward Baum says, yes, awesome to hear that little line on the cubes was one of our fun discussions while finalizing some of the components. I want to know, like, who, was there people on the team, Jessica, who were like, we don't need that. Why would we need to do that? It's going to cost well, for me, X amount more money and, like, why? And everyone else was like, uh, obviously we need it. Well, the thing is, is that it's, the amount of extra it's going to cost is so tiny for one game, but... Over the whole course of production, it's going to be there is an extra added cost for anything oh, that you yeah. add to a game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it makes it look like it's not a generic yeah. cube. It doesn't look like a generic piece, which I think makes it look nice. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, all right, I pick it. I pick it. I, I, I chose. Well, I'm seeing if I'm gonna discard it for a while first, Paula. So, I will keep it. Why not? Thank you so much, Turaki Gamer, points. for subscribing. <laughs> Look at that subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's yeah, Matthew's. It. It's uh... a private objective. It's a master showpiece. Showpiece. It's, yes. it's a showpiece. And for my showpiece, I'm going to be building this out of gingerbread. Uh oh, yes. That's for you. That's your showstopper. Uh, that's my showstopper mm -hmm. this uh, week. I'm really hoping for a handshake from Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the handshake from Noel Fielding, if I'm honest. I was at a house party in Noel Fielding once. What? What a wild life. In Kentish Town. Uh... Oh, Gameward Bound says, if I'm honest, the person to initially say no was probably me. <laughs> Look, That's we funny. could just get all the cubes sent to us, and I can put the little on each one. I'm just like, I'll draw each one on with a little Sharpie. Um. <laughs> do that. Actually, do you know how you made that work? Live stream it. Yeah, live, live stream, stream the... Mm -hmm. Right, let's go. We're doing the next round. Okay, I started a new day, maybe, no. to work. We just got... Hold on. No, we need, to, we need to get all the cards and put them... Um, I imagine we need to put Make all the cards into a pile. Happened. I think, yeah, something weird happened. Hold on. Digital gaming. Try it again now. I wonder if it'll... Oh, now it has us on day three, though. That's okay. It'll be fine. We'll... F <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do day two, three um, ourselves, physically. It'll be fine. Digital gaming. All right. Oh, what that's do good. I Ooh. want. Don't. Ooh, I don't want to hear that from you. Sir. I oh. don't want to hear that from you. Oh, suit you, sir. I want. You've no, idea. You've no idea what I'm quoting, do you? No. What is it? It's a sketch from a old show. I want this, this, and this. I don't want this. I'm going to be efficient. <sighs> I think I might be measured. There you go, Paula. You can have this. Hold on, let me take a look at what you got going on. What can I... Is there anything I can give you that you don't need? Except everything I could give you that you don't need, I need. Good. The only thing I don't really need is stoneware or dark glazes, essentially. How come these cards, they're not dealing me anything that helps, that doesn't help you? You know what I'm that saying? That was part of the decision process, I think. It was like, how can we screw Paul over when she I plays I think so. It? That's what it feels like. Okay. Whale? Well, something I wanted to show you. That's fine. Look, it's that's so fine. Funny. I am You'll going to be measured. Laughing. Why not? No, I want to be... Nothing no, up. I'm going to be... <sighs> I don't know how you're... You're just... <sighs> I'll be efficient. True Wacky Gamer, it'll be soon. I'm going to... I'm making a big pivot in life and... It's towards doing that, essentially. Um, a decision that was both something I want to do and something that was thrust upon me, as it were. So, um, okay. So uh, soon. Uh, I've been looking into visas for China because I want to go back to China. So why would you give me it. that garbage card? Because you didn't need it specifically, which is why I gave it to you specifically. You gave me a card I don't need. Good. That's what I was trying to do. But when your attitude, when do you anyway? <laughs> uh, all right, I got two stone, yeah. which is very nice. Oh boy, you have two stone. Yeah, I got a two stone resource card, which is absolutely is this bomb. Here, I need a stone, but guess what? I can have one because I have two resources on my tray. I'm going to turn them in to make one, which will become a stone. So I'm finishing my plate. Booyah, Ooh, Paula. Here's something to note. What? I cheated last time. You cheated? How did you I cheat? I used an extra resource as a wild. Oh, and so turning in two for one, you did one for one? Yeah. Uh that's okay. Just next time, uh turn in three. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in a resource now for wild. Because I need to. 
and I'm going to just discard them both, and then say and not use them for anything. Yeah, I think I cheated. All right, I'm there not you a thousand percent sure, but I think I cheated last time. Uh, I think I fully accept that um, the reparations that you have suggested here. Yeah, did not expect pottery and hate drafting today. Yeah, I thought this was supposed to be a cozy game. But it cozy all game. it make is making it is me a cozy feel game though, is right? anger I... at Matthew. It is a cozy game though. It does make you feel like you're in a ceramic studio. You know, it's nice. It's calm and nice. And I'm going to win. <laughs> and I'm going to crush you and everything you're working on. Are you finishing anything this turn? Uh, I am actually, yes. What is the number of yours? 25. Mine is 27, so you get to go first. Barn. <laughs> All right. You do have to keep an eye on your goals, though. That's something you definitely need to keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, <gasps> oh! Because when do we fulfill the goals? I think I might have one. I have one as well. Oh, they go in order of initiative, I think. They certainly do, Paula. And I will be getting... Do you have the one of the different clay types? No, that's what I have! You're such a skunk. Yes, that one I've got. Oh, I have it too. Why do you care about you? <gasps> that was supposed to be nice. You weren't meant to be aghast at that, but you know. You said I don't care about you? I said I do care about you. Oh, I thought you said I don't care about you. That's why I gasped. Okay, <laughs> well, if I you don't do care, care about you. Great. I was loud. I was like, uh oh, okay. I, I care about say, you as well. I, I have three of the same glaze as well. So I'm one away from having four. Oh of my the same gosh. Glaze. I don't think I'm going to win. And the thing I'm working on last is also of that glaze. <sighs> okay, I get to pick two things. I'm going to pick a project and I'm going to pick a. Uh, I'm going to pick a project, and I'm going to pick a, a thing. Uh, Triple glazed Matthew. Gamerbound says, more um, Ed's wife makes pottery. We have a bunch of real pieces that inspired some of this artwork. That is so awesome. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. Bring it to the convention. Put it in your booth. <gasps> like, yes. You know, they did, you know they did the sea salt on paper? Yeah. And they had the origami art that they used. Mm -hmm. They had it there. You should bring some of the pieces that are inspired by the game and put it in your like that craft cabinet. That would thing. be awesome. Do you have any coffee beans yet? I don't have any. Oh, actually, you haven't checked. No, I yeah. actually don't. So, with that in mind, I'm going to take whatever project has a coffee bean, which is this mm. one. <laughs> but I mm. want this one because it's more points and a lower initiative, but it's got more things. But I'm going to take that. Oh, you just took the whole deck. You shook, you shook, you no. see how you shook your hand and now it's, no, it's over. Yeah. No. Hold on, let me search. Okay. We'll, we'll find it. Oh, it was Hold this. On. It was, was that? This top one. Yeah. Okay. Was. I was like, we can, we can search and find it probably. Okay. <laughs> it's this. Oh, Gamer Eyes Guy. Yeah. Says, I'm a little upset that Seesaw and Paper doesn't include origami instructions. That would be cool. I'm glad you reminded me of that, Paula, because I wasn't thinking about the coffee, and you saying that reminded me of it, so that's why I took the coffee bean, so thank yeah. you, Paula. That's very gracious of you. I'm going to take one of these as well, off the top, and okay. think about whether I want to keep it or not. Oh, so that's Ooh, at the end of the game. What does that do? It's two points at the end of the game if I have two dishes, which I don't actually... None of them have, have come out yet. See this end of the game symbol at the top mm, left? Yeah. So I'm going to actually Sorry, discard Aaron, you this can't, immediately. You can't see that. I'm going to discard that immediately and get a cube instead. So discarding that for a while because Matthew don't think he's going to be able to succeed in that. Half which is a while. Pro partially true probably because we haven't had any of that come out yet. There's lots of game left. Yeah. We're not even, okay. we're not halfway through yet. All right, well, I have also completed, I have a stoneware, a porcelain, and an earthenware, so I will get the smaller point amount because Matthew managed to place this before moi. Because I'm a true gamer. That's right. Yeah, nothing like caffeine shaky hands to make pottery. Um, and then I, oh god. You ever seen the video, so I, the, the, the cat, that there's a video of a cat on a pottery wheel, and he's just just destroying the a pot, a pot that's been left. Uh, my Twitter is just all cats. Yeah, that's the way to do it, though. I've, right? like, solved my algorithm. My Twitter is basically all cats and dogs. And my YouTube shorts are all either videos of the gym or board games. 
That's it. <laughs> my two half, my two half is. <laughs> I am going to take three special cards and then choose one to keep. Some of them are really good. Some of them are, uh, well, it might just be a coffee bean or something like that. What, did you look? Did you just look at the screen? Because I pulled, one of the ones I pulled is just a coffee bean. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't look, uh, but that is, what, that is one of them. I got, I've got the chat up by the screen. Funny. Loco Turbo, uh, yes. The answer to your question is yes. Uh, we we're actually we we're just talking about scheduling that soon. So, what's that? Oh boy, of uh, uh, for Gal, oh, for yeah. gals, if we're gonna react to the TNG movies, and we are. Um, boy, do I want this or do I want this or do I want this? <sighs> this does make me think. Do I become a Potter? I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna keep it. Let's go for it. I sometimes watch the videos of the Japanese guy who makes like teapots, but he doesn't he doesn't spin them. He kind of like has these special tools and he hand crafts them and stuff. Whoa, that's, that's cool. All right, that's me. I think we start the next uh, start the next round. Let's do it. Start a new turn. Draw four cards. Okay. What do I need? I need so much of that. Do your show pieces count toward any goals? No. They don't have the the symbol. No, they don't. Are you going to look in the rules? I know they don't. No, if you say no, they, then they don't, then they don't. I'm just wondering, like, for the ones that's like, uh, the, uh, like the glaze is... They don't. They don't. Okay. I believe you. Okay, I need this. This is a wild, and I'm keeping it. I would like to keep... you got to remember as well that how many cards you're going to get over the course of the game is limited, right? So there's only, you know... Yeah. I want to keep all of these. Keep these two. I'm gonna give you okay, so I'm gonna be Was I just efficient? Oh no. Yeah, so was I. I could be keeping all of these, yeah. Guess I'm gonna be measured. Oh Yeah, I'm doing the same. I'm being measured because I want all these cards. No. I need all, right. all I need three of these. Oh actually I might oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give you that. I hope you... I'm not looking at what you've got. I'm keeping the cards that are good for me. Uh, I'm going to pass you some cards, and I really hope you don't need what I've passed you. Oh, my gosh. This is horrible. What do you need? Pass me some cards, Paula. I'm going to give you this. Oh, boo. Our team dies for this game is broken. How are they holding up? I... Great. They're holding up fine. Mine are great. Mine's, yeah. Mine's... I'm still using honest? the original. Mine's in my recording booth, but yeah. Mine's, mine's right here. Oh, come on. There you go. You can't see, maybe, but they've got our names on for all the casts of this game's broken. And we can pick teams that way. Yeah, it's really cool. The all only right. one that isn't holding up for is Dave. So I think Dave has no idea where his is. I'll yeah. <laughs> he does make, he makes one of us roll as. <laughs> Oh, but they were great. Okay. They were really, really oh. great. Great. You yeah, gave they me were so two good. porcelain. I need everything else. Wow, I'll take the two porcelain. That's actually really helpful. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, Merkwood Lodge. Those dice are amazing. I use them every time. Oh, you gave me nothing I need. Ha ha! All right, I'm using the glaze for here. Actually, I'm going to use, use that my that. wild. Uh oh, you gave me multiple things I need actually. I can't use that. I can use that. I'm going to use my wild as my kiln. Right. I'm turning one of mine into a wild. Clay. So I've got now two yes. cubes, so I get one wild. So I've got one wild cube, which I'm going to use. I'm cool. Gonna to I'm going to use one porcelain for this show piece, and the other porcelain will just go onto my tray unused. Oh, I'm finishing a project. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. I'm not finishing anything this, this round. Ooh, I'm very, I'm very happy with how, actually, I did not think that was going to turn out well, but you ended up, Matthew, giving me just what I needed, so thank you. Oh, good. Ha ha ha! We're going to watch what Matthew's up to here. You know what I really like is you're the green player, and right now you have a lot of green projects that you've done. Yeah. It's very color-themed. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm color-coordinated. I'm color coordinated. Yeah, totally. I'm a color-coordinated color kind of guy. 
That's true. Kamarowski says, I have I have used the same teams for a few shows instead of rolling dice. That's true, but those teams were initially formed by the roll of the dice. Oh, Hornist, uh, the great thing about these dice that Merkwood Lodge made us is that our own names are not, they're custom for each person, so our own names are not on our dice, which means we will never roll ourselves. It's very handy. I have so much yeah, cat hair actually, all over me. It's actually, when you think about it, a ridiculous gift. Yeah. It's like a lot more effort went into that then, you know? That's, that's kind of, they're pretty great. And they're wood. Wooden dice are the best dice. I throw that out there, Paula. I like wooden dice. All these fancy metal and plastic dice. I like yeah. wooden dice. Yeah, they are nice. Although, again, I do like the dice in Biblios. Which okay. isn't a pencil first game. But it is a good game. <laughs> so I have finished a project. Yes, yeah, a good memento. So I'm going to uh, bring it over to the side here. Do I have anything great? I you need... You have four of the same glaze? No, no, I have three of the same glaze. Good! Oh, you think um, you printed them? They are wood, aren't they? They seem like wood texture. Oh, you could 3D... You could engrave them, I guess. You could... Um, okay. So, I want to take projects. Probably take two. What's something? Okay, I'll take this, even though it's going to be hard to fill because it's got the glaze I need. So, I'll take one of those. <gasps> and I'm taking that because it's what I need for, for project type. Look what just came out. It's a dish. I mean, it's a bowl. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Heck yeah. I'm taking Heck that. Yeah. All right, two projects for Ooh, Paula. That's fancy, isn't it? I know, this is very nice. This, like, flower plate. Uh, well, at the end of this, we so should pick lovely. out... I'm going to... At the end of this, we should pick out the one piece of pottery that we would keep. <gasps> yes! Okay, definitely. From what we've made or from all the cards in the game? Well, from what we've made, but from all the cards in the game as well might be nice. Okay, yes, I like it. All right, uh, anything else that's we need it. to Let's do? To all right, last... day three. I mean, excuse me, round three of day two. I've got, to be, I've got to be wasteful. I have to be wasteful as well. Which I'm not happy about. Can I finish this? Or this? I guess I, guess I should do that. So when you're wasteful, you can only keep one. Woof. Yeah, which I means I'm not, I'm not uh. finishing a... It's got a light glaze on it. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try to do that. So I guess I'll just keep this. I think I have to keep this. Uh... Let's have a look what you need. But not that. Ooh. Yeah, what does Matthew fit? need? Almost everything's pretty good for you. You need everything okay. on all my cards. You need everything. I'm so giving I'm gonna... you that because you get one of my cards. And then I'm going to keep this. And then I will discard into the wastebasket these two. All right, so I bet this isn't useful. Yeah, it's not. So that's a cube. And this is so just discard. This. Whoop. Yeah, I don't finish anything, unfortunately. Oh, they're painted resin. Oh, really? They they really do have a nice texture. They're great. Look at that old wood. <laughs> Hornish just wants to hear your angst, Matthew. My angst. Yeah, I wanted to hear angst from Matthew about how much he had to edit people re-rolling their dice. I um. I have to edit a lot of stuff on those podcasts, just to be real. So, so does this mean when you're wasteful, you only have two cards to work with? Yeah. Oh, That's why I've man. Only got, yeah, I'm not finishing anything this round. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I don't think either one of us is claiming the thing we want. Not oh, wow. Round. I have a lot of stoneware. <laughs> I'm glad I passed you stone. <gasps> oh, I wish I'd kept something else now. But you could use one of those stone and turn the other two stones into a one wild. Yeah, I honestly, around, I can you, use yeah. all three stone, so I might as well, because I could put a stone on one of my show pieces oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then two yeah. on this bowl. And I, so I'll probably just do that, but yeah, that's funny to have all that stone. So I'm going to do the two stone here and then one of the stones on this sh uh, salt and pepper shaker showpiece. I don't think you're going to get all those things finished next round. I mean... I think it's going to be difficult. Yeah. You're going to get... Do I lose points for unfinished projects? No. 
But you, you know get, what? You Actually, get... I think you lose a point for an unfinished project, but you gain a point for every resource put onto that project. Okay. So you but need to put get... something on it. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's the rule. You're only going to get 10 resources around unless you get one miraculously out of like the... the and I need 12. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do it. Okay, so we need to physically do it this time, Paula, because we kind of messed up with the thingamajiggy. So. We did. So we will now uh, shuffle and draw ourselves four cards each from this because we, we messed up the script. Sorry, everyone. So there's 24 cards now. That sounds about right. Again, and I'm going to just deal. That's great. We should put these off of the discard pile, though, so that we're well, like, not discarding gonna be, They're not going to be there. They're not going to be there once I've dealt them, right? Well, the whole stack of cards. Once I've dealt <gasps> them. Oh, sort of. I see. You're deal I see what you're doing. Okay. Yep. Because we're going to get half of it. And that goes down below our uh, our player workshop. Yep. Oh, and the only problem is they're all ending up in our hands. Yeah, but we can just put them in the thing we do. Yeah. And then shuffle them again. Yep. Good. Good call. Look, we're making it work, y'all. How many cards you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That last card is yours. Thank you. And I'll just put them into your hand, into your box. I mean, you probably shouldn't know this information, but if you can remember what's on these cards, then full power to you. Come on. Shake together. Come on, cards. This is such a digital problem, right? <laughs> where I'm just like shaking. Can you... I have to make that sketch where I'm just like in real life. I'm trying to just shake a bunch of a pile of cards thinking it's going to like all come yeah. together. And it's like, what are you doing? Now I'm going to shuffle mine in the hand and then I'm going to draw four. All right. Look at us making it happen. <gasps> Thank you so much for that sub, Ross Nelson. Okay. Now, oh, let me remove my markers off of here. Look, mm. we got stuff we got to do. Okay, I have to keep this. These are all bad. Yeah, one of these is good for me. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Honestly, I think I might be wasteful. Actually, I'm not gonna, I'm I think gonna, now is the time. I'm being wasteful as well this turn. I'm going to keep this one for me. That. And then what do I want to give to you? I love that this, the like kind of drafting almost aspect of this, it's not exactly what it is. It's card passing, but it adds such a nice bit of player interaction, right? It yeah. really becomes like, a strategic decision point, player interaction. It forces me to look at what the other players are doing. So it's not just me doing my thing and then exactly. hoping I have more points than the other person. I just think it's such a nice small thing to add to the game that like, the, it's like stuff like this of you're choosing your work style. Mm. It's like what makes it a game. Does that make sense? Like when you yeah. have design points like that it's in your games, decision. you're like, oh, that's what makes this a game. Yeah, it's a decision. It's really, it's really interesting. Um, okay, you are after. I'm gonna give you. I tell you right now, Paula, I'm looking for love. You're looking for love. I'm giving you that. Oh. See if that gives you some some love. Okay, and then these two go into the Garbage. waste basket. Yeah, I didn't think that you would like it. Honestly, I'm gonna. I'm using both of these for cubes, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna spend two of these cubes. What's happening? Why is my camera not working anymore? Oh no. Oh my goodness. I'm spending two of those cubes to do that, which means I am finishing a project. <gasps> oh boy. I'm getting some points this round, just so you know. I don't like it. I don't like it. We didn't make chat um, bet or predict who would win. Yeah, it is a similar decision to um, a game like Animal Kirja, right? <laughs> Kirja says, give me love, but not like that. <laughs> That's not helpful, Matthew. Good. <laughs> I have my glaze, which is good. 
This is the last round, is it, Memo? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to finish. Are you finishing something with the glaze? Yes. <laughs> Just so you are aware. This I'm about to only. do that! This is to up to four player. Uh, hold it. Ah! Well, you're not about to do that, are you, Paula? Because you're not finishing a project this round? Are you finishing a project this round? No! Good, because mine's I'm not. mine as well. <laughs> you still might win. <laughs> you, you do keep on beating me. So. Well, you beat me in some games, and then I and then it swung back my direction. Do you like how this one kind of looks like a fried egg? This one? This one? It doesn't look like a fried egg. Yes, it does. The white and then the yolk in the middle. What are you talking about? I think it's just the way the light's hitting. All right, end of the Here. round. Can I do some fun stuff? Ugh. Yeah. Yay, I'm making this jerk. I'm mad, y'all. Um, also, so, Harness, when you have multiple players, you can see here, like, in when you choose your um, measured work style, instead of just passing two cards to one person, you're passing one card to the person on your left and one card to the one person, to on, your right. person on your right. Okay, I've got four of the same glaze. Four light glazes, which means I get to do this and get some points for having four of the same glaze. I'm not doing this. I won't be getting this one at all. I think I might need to try and get some coffee. <laughs> I think you're gonna kick my butt. Oh no. I haven't got any coffee yet. So that's something that- Didn't you get like one bean? No. You have a card I... with a bean on it. I don't think yeah. I have any beans, but I'd have to look. Did you, again. Not, did, you said you had a resource card. Oh, you didn't keep that one? No. That would have been three points, Paula. Okay, on that, because I don't think, hmm, I'm getting what, eight more cards this whole game and I've got one, two, three, four, five things. I think I'm going to take three special cards. And pick one. And pick one. What's the difference between an American fried egg and a not American fried egg? Merkwood American Lodge says that's an American fried egg. But what do your fried yeah. eggs look like? American fried eggs are just, you get too much choice and you like sunny side up. You know what I mean? I'm what keeping this bean. Here? It's your freedom. Yeah, an American fried egg is freedom, obviously. No! Don't you dare keep that. Don't you oh, dare keep that bean. Open. <gasps> you have to keep it because it's cute, Matthew. I'm never going to finish it, Paula. But I'm taking the bean. Look how cute it is. I'm taking the bean a million percent. <laughs> a thousand percent. Although I do actually... Actually, I don't have a plate either. So I'm keeping the bean. I want the three points. Be nice to me, Paula. If you keep... If the wind changes, Paula, your face will stay like that. <laughs> Oh, that's my favorite face that Paula Paul is brilliant. <laughs> American fried eggs are made from bald eagle eggs. <laughs> oh, that's your favorite card? We, well, we yeah, that elephant is great. That's Please really let the good. elephant be inspired on real a real piece of pottery, says Gameritis guy. I like it. It's really All good. Right. Next round. Oh. Draw, draw four of your cards. Oh, what did we do? I was wasteful. Yeah, I was we'll both. I need to mark. Round. I need to mark it. Okay, that's good. Okay. I am going to be... I'm efficient. gonna be efficient. Yeah. <laughs> I like these cards. I think, I'm yeah. keep that, and that, and that. Okay, so I'm gonna give you... Here's some stone. This. Gee, it's thanks. Stone, but it is, it is clay. Have a glaze. Here's some earthenware. Oh, I don't need that glaze anymore. Ha ha! Actually, I do. I can use it on my on my finger here. That's actually Boo! Great <laughs> it's actually good for me. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that it's another, good for just you. Just so you know, I, I finish another card. <laughs> All right, we'll show everyone, and then I'll do so my I got, turn. So I got the two glazes that I need, because this is an either, and I got a wild. So I get to put the wild on the stoneware, and... Two glazes is a luster and a dark glaze. I got scared for a second because I saw the initiative on that card and I almost went, that card's worth 22 points. <laughs> wow, you and have two I'm coffee use... beans and I have none. Yeah, I... I'm going to use the glaze that Paula gave me on my uh, showstopper. Show what thingy. Showpiece. 
So now I just need one more cube. I should be able to finish that as well. Next turn. It's fine. Um, it's if not win, a problem, I'm, right? I'm like, really it's really not... happy if I win. Okay, so I have this glaze here. I have this kiln here that will finish this, which what is number good. Is it? Number, 19? It's 19. So you get, to, you get to pick first then. Um, and then this uh, clay is going to come into my tray. Um, I have a wild. I think I'm going to finish one of my, probably work on this teapot showpiece because it's worth five points. So the wild is going to go onto my teapot and then two of my resources on my tray uh, will be turned into the kiln type for that. So I'm finishing my uh, showpiece and a project. That's really good. It's something at least. So pick your things. So first, let me. I know. Oh, no, I can't. I wanted to pick. That's. Oh, I wanted to pick three things again, but I can't. I've got to pick. I've got to pick a. You have to get a project because you're out. I have to have a project. Yeah. I don't think I meet any. Here's the thing. I do now have four of the same glaze type, so I'll get lower point value, but I can claim for that project. I need a vase, and I just know. I think this was hard to. Um, that's why it's worth more points, probably. This was hard to do, and um, we just haven't had a vase come out. So I've worked really yeah. hard on trying to do that, and it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, now, your project cards are face-up, Game Writer's Guy, just, just like how we have them. Um, so you know what you're passing to your opponent. Nah. <laughs> Which makes it a better decision, I think. It, that way makes it a, a like, ah. Oh, don't want to give all of this, but I've got to keep this, you know, that type of thing. Honestly, I kind of wish you had the initiative on this because I'm hoping to have a card go away. I want to be able to spin something to wipe these projects. Do I have four what? different types? Hold on. Hold on. Gamer Bound thinks I do. I have a cup, a plate, a bowl, <gasps> a pitcher. Oh, wait, I do. Yeah, I don't, but you do. You just need four of the five. <gasps> Not all five. Oh my gosh! I did it! Well done. Thank you, I only have, I have two pitchers, a cup, and a plate, so I've only got three, and I'm finishing another cup, so... Okay, More done so that. I think I'm... Because I have a project. I think I'll... Bleh, I'm going to draw three special cards and choose one to keep. So we actually... we actually, If I don't get this, we're, we, we wash for goals. Mm. Oh, what's that? An instant that lets me instantly put two resources onto my tray. That's cool. Yeah. I have. I can get one point for every two plates. I can get two points for... I don't have a vase. No, no, no. no. It's one point if you have two plates. Or is ah, it one point it. for every two plates? Let ah, me check. I, uh, I only have two, so... And they're, they're not going to go. Actually, maybe, well, I just want to check what it is. It would be good to know. I'm going to take this instant, and I'm just going to use it. Yeah, That's... so score the indicated number of points if you completed at least one of each project type shown. Each completed project may be used for multiple personal goal cards. So you do not score additional points on multiple sets of the same mm, personal goal card. So it's just, it. you score it once. You only score it once, but you can use the thing you scored it with for other projects, for other things. Cool. Okay, so I'm using this instant, which just puts two resources on my tray. So it's essentially, I get a wild. A wild, which is, which is cool. Yeah. So, okay. Um, That's... That's my turn. Okay, Are we about so to have gonna, our last turn of the game? Well, I'm going to... Oh, you have to do your thing. Sorry, that's all right. That's all Sorry, right. Matthew. I didn't mean to, to rush past so, you. That's all right. So I'm going to do this, which gets me another coffee bean, essentially. And I'm going to then... I still don't have the goal thing, but I will pick a card that might help me with that goal. So I haven't got... A, I've got a plate. I've got a pitcher, and I've got a cup. So you just need one something different. These are plates, pictures, and cups. Oh, plates, cups. These are plates and cups. <laughs> so I can't do that. Um, I mean, so you can take two and draw one and hope that the next one that is revealed... Well, I will take one for now. This one. And I'll I got draw. lucky that that bowl came out. Yeah, another cup. Although I do like that cup, though. That is such a cool cup. Well, I'm going to... Um, we could just yeah. do this. No, I, I no, 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 no. Don't be, don't be crazy. <laughs> Man, uh, no, did any vases come out? 
So I'm going to take this, which is a personal goal, which isn't going to help. But uh, it was uh, that's fine. Hey, awesome cool. squirrel stuff. It's so nice to see you. Okay, last round. <gasps> These show pieces really are like that's are nice. very artsy. Sometimes the the buttons to make the cameras reset works, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm keeping two and passing two. I love that Game Word Bound says, this says, I think, something about us, Matthew. Game Word Bound says, love it. The theme is so cozy, we're all so nice to each other when playing. Oh, maybe me being like, just take this card. But mo most of the time, I feel like um, we haven't been particularly good. nice to each other. <laughs> we're pretty good with each other, I think. I mean, we're kind, but we get, but we're ruthless. And I'll okay. Keep. So I will be giving you two cards because that's all I've left. I will be keeping two and giving two. Yeah, I've got to give you these two. This, I can't give these These two are good for me, so I'm just going to hold on to them. This yeah. I want and this I so want. So you say that you um, score a point for your things that you've done on your final, on your projects that you still got left? Is that what yes. Saying? The project itself being unfinished will lose you a point, but any resource placed on that project will gain you a point. So put well, something on it and it'll at least wash out. Yeah. There's your two cards from me. Okay. Let's yeah, see what I can do. In progress. Oh, in progress show pieces get your point as well. That's good. Oh. But in progress projects are minus one point plus. Yeah, that's right. Just what you said. Oh, I finished the show piece and I forgot to. I'm just going to. Flip it over so we can see how beat. Oh, wait, no, it just stays. I'm just gonna put it in my scoring pile. Okay. Okay. This I is this that. is pretty decent, I think, for me. Actually, this might I might have a very yeah, good I turn. Can't, I can't do both of these. So that is there. The art is so pretty awesome, squirrel stuff, right? Actually, I can do that. Yeah, that's right. Ross Nelson, that's exactly how you, I think you can describe oh. Matthew and Mike's play style. Ruthlessly cutting down the opponent. I love. can do everything. I can finish <gasps> everything. Oh my goodness. That's a good feeling. I do so think that means you're going to win, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm discarding this for a thing which gives you two cues, which is a wild. So I'll put one in my bag and then I'll use the wild to get this dark glaze. And then I got Ooh. you pass me the. the <gasps> I, pass you the I pass you the kiln that you needed. I just didn't need it at all. So. Yeah. And I've got that one. And with oh, this. Oh, very good. <gasps> I've got. That is the right kiln, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, with this, I do that, which finishes this off. Oh, because you already had that there. Wow, well done. So I've finished everything, which is good. But I still don't get, I still only have, I still, I've got three mocks. <laughs> so I still haven't got all the things I needed. But uh, still, that's good to finish everything. Yeah. Um, I will be, is this what I have left? I think I've had a pretty good game, honestly, Paula. So... Maybe I have one. On. Oops, I think this should be. A shame. A shame. Um, then this and these shame, here. Paul. I'm going to have so much shame. This is. <laughs> oh boy, I have just enough. It's because of that instant card, that special card I drew, the advantage card yeah. or whatever, that gave me two. Because I have now. I've no cubes left either. I've got no cubes. I can use so, these yeah. two for a while to finish that show piece. And these two to turn in and then get one while to finish this uh, Sunny Side Oh, wicked. Plate. So you finished everything. Holy cow. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, but you are definitely winning the coffee bean because I don't have any coffee. I hope I win on the coffee bean. I That'll think so that good. might that might do it. Yeah. That would be great. So you get to pick first, though, Paula, because... Um, so I guess you just draw special cards and see and hope for some good Well, you have to stuff. have a project. You have to have a project. Even so... Wait, now? Even now? I don't think we have to have a project now. It's the end of the game. I think you do have to have a project. You can't not have a project. I guess it's not... This is the special exception, says Gamer Bound. Oh, is it really? Oh, good. That's what I thought. At the end, you will just double check everyone. So you're just going to pick three... Um... Gold cards and see what you get? I think so. You can draw the three advantage cards and choose one. Great. Oh, good. I will be doing that as well. Okay. I will be doing that. Pitcher, plate, cup. I will take this one because I think it's going to give me two points. Uh, mine are 
Nah, nothing gets me anything. I mean, I get one point for having the the the, the, the special project. Yeah. But I don't have any dishes, so I'll just mm. keep this. It's a napkin holder and a very cool like crock pot Dutch oven situation. That is so cool looking. All right. So it is the end of the game. So it is the end. We'll go through scoring in the final scoring, which is very nicely laid out in the rule book, which I appreciate. Total your points from oh. the following sources. In game and reveal score pads. <gasps> there's a score pad. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. I think good. there's one for each uh, player color. Did you yeah, get one? There is. Yeah, it's way yeah. over there. Okay. So completed project points is the first thing. So I have this amount. I'm going to pull mine closer to my score pad here. Oops, I didn't flip that over. Okay, everyone, it's the final scoring. Okay, I think I've got 32 points for that. Let me count again. 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 8 is 16. 17, 18, 19, 21, plus 9 is 30, plus 2. 32. 17 and 14 is... 31. 31. Oh my gosh, you have one more point than me on completed yeah. projects. Ooh, it's going to be so close. Boy. It's going to be so close. It's going to be really close. <laughs> okay, next is... Uh, no, number of in-progress projects, none. So we, no. So we both wash for that completely. Yeah, that's zero good. and so zero. So no negative yeah. points. Uh, cubes on in progress. So that's that's cubes of of in progress. Which we don't have any because we don't. Mine, have any so yeah, that's, that's, that, that would be a minus. That would be minus. Then it's per resource on project cards, which neither does have any. Yeah. So zero then zero. We score for studio challenges, which I think is seven each. Okay, let's four, take a quick look. Four, five, six, seven, and you got four, four five, five, six, six seven. seven. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh, this is going to come down to the coffee. So that's studio challenge. Right points. now, you are one point ahead of me. In game objective points. So that I is your. Get two points yeah. for a set that is pitcher, uh, plate, Ooh, cup, I don't get... which I do have. I don't have any. So. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So you get two points? Yeah. So you're ahead by one now, then, right? I have 40 yeah. points. You have 39? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh, this is crazy. Okay, finished so showpieces. Mine's I've got one one which is worth five points. Oh no oh, I might have pulled ahead just in that. Oh really? Well I have done. nine, because I finished two. Yeah. Nine that total means you points. Win. I think that means you win. Wait, number of uh, in progress showpiece resources. Do you have any on your unfinished um showpiece? No. Well I have two points for having the showpieces themselves. And then do you have any reserved resources left over? I don't. No, I don't either. And then you get the, oh wait, you get the coffee card. So then yeah, just give yourself three more points. Yeah, what have you got? I have 51. 48. Well oh done. my gosh. You did it. Matthew, I can't believe that. I thought I oh, had it, honestly. You I thought you were gonna crush me, honestly. That was so close. That was well so close. Yeah. You just got an extra, you had uh, that extra show piece that you yeah, made. Yeah, without one. that, because if I hadn't finished this salt and sh pepper shaker at the end, yeah. I would have had um, 47. You would have won by a point if I hadn't managed oh, to finish that. It's a close game, right? That was so close. Thank you, Dairy Dice Roller, for the follow. Well oh, done. Oh, man. Okay, now we're going to look at each pottery piece and pick our favorites. So we need to spread them all out. Wow, man, that was so close. I enjoyed that. Now, okay, sponsored stream. Um, Yeah, I enjoyed that. It's oh, nice yeah. to just like, there is something like, it's in that vein of like a game like, um, I'm trying to think like, I was going to say, I'm going to say like Calico. There's something cozy to me about Calico, even though it is also very brain burny. But, um. This is definitely cozy. There's no denying that. It's like. Yeah. Fully achieved. There was tension. There was, you know, all that. But there's still something so like lovely and kind of relaxing about. Oops. Um, let's put everything on it. like, yeah. Um, about like doing it all. 
Okay, okay. I do like this tankard. That's, That's, yeah, I could see that. This is kind of cool, this mug. I kind of feel like this is us in mugs a little bit. Mm. I don't know, this Mine's, feels like you. This is you in a mug, though. I was thinking about picking that. <laughs> yeah, that's you in a mug. I do like this This is mug lovely, a lot. too. I like this mug as well, but I think... <gasps> yeah, that also feels a lot like... I think, honestly, mine would be between these two mugs. I do like these two mugs yeah. a lot. I think I'd go for this mug, maybe. Mm, really? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It depends. If this has got, like, a full glaze on it the whole way around... Yeah. Then, I, then this mug. I like that earthenware glaze mm, kind of mug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is good because this is actually an earthenware glazed mug, which is uh, which proves my point. So yeah, I'm going to go with this. <sighs> okay. I think I might pick... This is tough. This is tough. And we're not looking at all the showpieces. I think... Well, we know what wins the showpiece. That elephant. Yeah, the elephant, with the 100%. With a succulent inside. I think mine that. might actually be... Oh my gosh, this. That is me and you in an absolute This is Matthew nutshell. and Paula in mug form. That really is us in a nutshell, right? Because that's definitely my type of earthenware, you know, hardy, salt of the land kind of... And then yours is this prissy mug. I'm not prissy. I'm joking. joking. She says with flowers and bunnies on her sweater. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and also, yours is a coffee mug because it's got a coffee bean, and mine can I can put tea. Yeah. Does that make sense? See? Perfect. It works. It works for us. This is us. If you are interested in this and the rest of the games in this uh, the Nature Games trio that they're doing, uh, which is funded, and so you'll get it. That exists. Crafty, beautiful pottery projects. Craft beautiful pottery projects. Yeah. I want to explore the Winterview Woods, I tell you that much. Yeah, I, like I want to look at all the other ones um, yeah. on there as well. So yeah, check that out. The link was just dropped in chat. Thank you so much to Pencil First Games for sponsoring this stream. Uh, I just want to say quickly, Sid I Seen in chat says, I know this is partially my neuro spicy brain speaking, but a game that really fills up my mind for a while is always really relaxing. Combined with the art aesthetic, and I'm really yeah. tempted. Yeah. There's something that's it's nice about like having your brain able to focus on something else right um yeah game Rider guy says also if the point has edible arrangements point for matthew <laughs> i think that is a big benefit for games for me is um that's why they help in my brain is that it just takes you away from everything else you don't you're not thinking about anything else when you're playing a game and that is yeah. really a pretty lovely thing yeah it's been yeah this has been fun this has been fun i really enjoyed this thank you so yeah. much uh we're uh youtube for being here we appreciate you hanging out with us as we play uh, sunrise at the studio from pencil first games there will be a link in the description to the pencil first games website as well as the kickstarter page if you are able to watch this while the kickstarter is live you can click on that and go check it out big thanks to pencil first for sponsoring uh and if you ever want to catch us live we stream board games every week over at twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. Is the link in the description for that as well? Yeah. You don't know if it's there or not. It will be now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone.